see if it's recording. All right, Dominic Castro, uh, Melrose Free Press, here with Coach Matt James. Boys lacrosse, big win, 14-6 over Winchester, quarterfinal round of the tournament. Next up, Reading or Burlington. Overall, Coach, what do you think of the effort today? I thought it was awesome. Um, defending D2 champs, always great. One of like the hallmark programs in the state. Um, it's very rare to be able to say you, you beat Winchester. It's rare to say you beat them in the tournament. Um, it's an outstanding feeling. It's really a testament to how hard the boys work, uh, how committed they were to kind of keep things going, to recover after a tough loss um, the, in the Middlesex League tournament, and to, and to have like a really solid week and a half of practicing after this game. Um, it's, it's awesome. I'm super proud of them. Yeah, they, they seem like they were in control start to finish. Um, and let's put this into perspective, too, now. 12-1 and one now. Yeah. Like, compare that to some of your best seasons before. I know it's a shortened season, COVID and all that, but 12-1, and one, that's pretty legit. It's got to be up there in terms of the best record they've had in a while. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we never have one loss or whatever. But, mm. um, you know, I, I'd take losses against Active Box Bar and Needham and, and that, and that non-league schedule to kind of really get out there and go. Um, but that being said, the Middlesex League's produced two state champions in the last two full seasons. Um, Burlington's a great program. <clears throat> Wakefield's a great program. Um, one of us has been the number one seed um, every year uh, since they switched to the, the regional seeding every, uh, essentially, except for this year, which is straight by a coin flip. Um, it's a great league. We play good games. Um, coaches are really good. It's just the respect I have for the league is great. Um, and, I'm, and I'm really proud of the way that um, the league handles its business. And yeah. Play. This 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 right side of the bracket is like all Middlesex League right now, right? It's like a, there's going to be a North finalist from the Middlesex yeah. League, so we know that for sure. Yeah, it's Middlesex League in Gloucester. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about your offense because tonight it was just – there was – there was goals from all angles. I mean, in all different varieties. I mean, Brendan Fennell steals a ball, right? He throws it right in front of the goalie. Um, you know, Dussault is... Every single game yeah. for the last three years. Dussault looks like Eovaldi out there. He's throwing like 95-mile-an-hour bullets from 20 yards away. So there's so many ways this team can score. It's just tough to defend. It is. Um, we have an awful lot of talent on the offensive side, and it's all diverse. So it's not like we have a bunch of big shooters from the outside. We have we have smart players. Um, Liam Barr um, recognized an issue with their slide package, and mm. that led to four goals. Four goals, yeah. You know, when he's a sophomore, and he was like, the slide's coming adjacent on the one-for-one, one, and that's going to be wide open. And Brady can hit me with that cross pass every time. And that was in that end of the game. Yeah. Um, that end of the game. Uh, just the intelligence, the skill set, the, how – like Shea Foley is an outstanding midfielder. Any other team, he'd be an all-star. He'd be the, mm. he'd be the number one guy, and, and he doesn't get nearly the respect that he deserves. Mostly because you have DeSalt shooting 100 miles an hour past kids' ears. Yeah. I hope that, that was. Or behind his back, behind like he did at the back. end. That was sweet. Brandon Fennell getting five and five today. Yeah. You know, and it's like we really didn't push stats. We didn't push goals this year. It was about us getting better. Um, but this is what this is who they are. Yeah. You know, DeSalt is a four goal a game guy. Brenny's a you know maybe not a ten points a game guy, but you know he's a you know he's a four and three. He's a you know he's he's one of the best attackmen in the state. He's one yeah. of the best athletes to come through the state. You know, MVP in football, hockey, and lacrosse. Um, and then you have Liam Marr, You know, he's a Division one athlete. He's an absolute stud. Um, there's nothing he can't do. He rides well. He dissects defense as well. He caused two turnovers at the midline just by effort off of face-off possessions. Like, yeah. It's stuff like that. And then Brady, like, ah, they just go on and on with yeah. it. Yeah. We have, we have seven guys that can all play. Yeah. We had six 20 goal scores. Like, it's just awesome. Yeah, yeah. If you got if you got Reading or Burlington in attendance today, what's their notes? What, what do you do? Who do yeah. you defend? Yeah. Right? Like, you can't key on any one yeah. guy. Yeah. Like, yeah, let's just, let's take Fennell out. Well, fine. We'll go someone else. Yeah. And, like, you know, Wakefield beat us when they took out when they took away Brady. So you know, then you know, we recognized something. We went against a good team, and they did good stuff against us, and it made us better. And then you saw it today; they tried shutting him off behind with a like they shut off their second best pool. Yeah. You know, like that's that's a testament to how good he is and how good every, how hard everyone worked the last week to make sure that that's not going to stop us from what we're trying to do. Yeah, Coach, I'll let you get going. You got to go scout the next opponent. But Matt James here, and uh, we appreciate the time. Best of luck in the next round. Awesome, man. Thank you very All much. All right.